All right, guys, welcome back. We are continuing on with the series. So last time we wrapped up without spoilers. Um, how do I explain this without spoilers? We found the thing, found the person, did the thing, moving on. And we're actually heading out of the city this time. And we're going to be continuing on. This place is actually really, really nice. All the colorful zones. And it's just really nice to be around. So uh, this is going to be a wonderful expansion just because the scenery is really nice. Usually you guys know my stance on like desert zones and rainy, depressing areas, but I think we'll be fine. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked Kin Lady Avenis to meet him out here. Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. I understand he's good at this sort of thing. Basically, we're gonna do it ourselves, and then we wait for Razimdar. So, depending on how many people are here, we could get this done in about five seconds, or we could wait five minutes. The respawn time isn't too long, it's just the fact that there are so many people on day one doing this. Rasimdar apprehended the Kin Lady. They're at the west edge of the Coral Forest. What happened to Aldok Tilkalar? Did he escape? I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Aldok. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Clavicus Vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully, the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. You'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. The Rightmaster leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. One more adjustment. You are now ah, Five Claw. Queen Irene will be disappointed that the Kin Lady of Shimmerine allowed a false Aldark to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This one has a very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sigic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. The Sigic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Uldar. This one has never had much love of magic, or those that practice the art. On the other hand, 
Now Raz has his own person on the inside. An Eye of Raz, if you will, yes? Then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Yes, Raz likes this plan. In the meantime, Raz will investigate the Daedric connection. Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. What a hateful accusation! Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word. I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the divine prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerin. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the proxy queen. Okay, let's go get this uh, way shrine real quick. Um, actually, now that we do that, let's go. This is a hundred percent after all. We're gonna look for everything. I assume everyone's at the world bosses right now, like, on day one, so I might as well get my clears as soon as possible. If I wait, like, a week, I'm probably just gonna... I mean, I did it on the PTS, it wasn't even that bad, so I'm pretty sure I could solo it regardless. As long as the dude doesn't like pull it out of the AOE and have it reset, I think we're okay. Oh. What? I just can't. Like, how did that happen? Oh, it's reset. You're a healer, dude. You're wearing worm. It can do something with your life. Get in the circle. It's gonna reset again. What level are you? You're 746. Want to buy heals. Please don't tell me it resets after this.
so dumb. <laughs> I'm still wondering what when they all focus fire you, you're gonna die. Dude, this is like worse than Trials. I don't even know where these damage things are coming from. Well, we got it done in three deaths. Did all of them focus me at once? That's what it's like the recap basically said. Is there a way to avoid that? Am I just dumb? Another way shrine. Um, I would assume there's some sort of quest down there, but I don't know. Probably. Let's actually just move on to the quest. Let's not get sidetracked. I would assume the fastest way there is probably just going straight down. I love the area we're about to go to. It's super fancy. It's so colorful. It's actually really nice. This is a crafting station, yeah. What does it make? I'm not even sure about the new sets. So I kind of want to take a look. Um, I have nine traits on my main character, so this makes a dagger. What does it do at one four or one sixty? Spell and weapon damage. What? I don't know. I don't know what class would use that. Maybe a, or like what role? A tank maybe? Well, I'm not 100% sure why that would be good. So yeah, we got this though. This area is pretty, look at the sky. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. 
Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Indeed, but not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately, unless you want to explore our island first. All right, listen, game. I know this has been going on for four years, but whoever designs the rewards of this, first of all, at least give people the right trait. Like, you know, light armor, maybe divines infused, not reinforced. Just, I don't know. Do the developers even play their own game? Kind of wonder about that. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. Dude, that's so cool. I want one in my house. I'd buy it for like 10,000 crowns. Just a teleporter. You must be the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha seal creation, as you'd expect. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the silver vial should be right over there. As soon as the pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the Right Master gathered the Conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. I'm the Right Master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Right Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. Why does every High Elf think they're superior to the rest of us? Being an Altmer isn't a prerequisite for joining the Sigic Order. The Right Master saw my potential and honored me with an invitation. I'm proud of what I've accomplished here. I'm not allowed to reveal where you are or how our magic works, other than to tell you that you have arrived upon the fabled island of the Sigic Order, Arteum. While we're not currently part of Nern's reality, we still keep track of events there. I could say we have our ways and leave it at that, but you deserve a better explanation. The Right Master sends Sijix back to the world to perform tasks and gather information. Plus, we have powerful scrying magic that reveals all sorts of details. I was examining the vial of amplification elixir myself just a short time ago. It should be right over there.
Let's finish Was up this Oriandra quest first. able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. We'll handle the magic. You pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the augury do its job. We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, we're stepping blindly into Oblivion's maw here. Pour the elixir into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the augury. It's so funny, it's like he just uh, dumped the thing into the water, and then you see people running in it. Basically, this community. Here we stand, the most favored servants of Clavicus Vile, Nefala, and Nocturnal, on the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the court of Bedlam? Besides, what happens next in Relinthil will seal Somerset's fate. That was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists called the Court of Bedlam. Imagine, the faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. No, but I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of oblivion. We're missing something, but what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthiel. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthiel sits to the west of Shimmerine, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain, as well as the Pearls. I may not be a natural prognosticator, but I had a feeling you might. Go ahead. I'll answer what I can. Tranquil greetings, Caraval. You will forgive me if I seem awkward. We rarely entertain guests here on Arteum. I am Kellerus. Right Master Ikesis told me a great deal about you. I suspect he has plans for you within the Sigic Order. The Right Master holds you in high regard. That is proof enough of your worthiness. The Sigic Order requires practical wisdom, outside perspective. Unless I miss my guess, you can provide both. You would be a worthy addition to our ranks. Eager to begin? Good. Eagerness is just what we need. Your first what lesson begins individual. now. The Order has detected a number of... irregularities on Tamriel. Small breaches in the fabric of time. I would like you to seal them for me. The first cluster of time breaches appeared on the Isle of Somerset. You should start there. Go speak with my apprentice, Josaja, in the Athenaeum. She will provide the tools you need. A map, Sigic seals, and the Augur of the Obscure. A noble heart and a solemn commitment to the good. Achieving membership in the Sigic Order is a serious and lasting endeavor. You must be prudent, but fearless. Withdrawn, but compassionate. It is not something to be taken lightly. Too reclusive, I fear. The truth is that we have grown old, Caraval. A mixed blessing, I suppose. Long years of seclusion have allowed us to study and learn, but always at the cost of our relationship with the outside world. We need youth, vigor. As your knowledge of the old ways grows, so too will the rewards. For instance, we are prepared to teach you new and powerful spells. As in all things, the best teacher is experience. This matter of the time breaches will act as your exam. Only this. Purge yourself of selfish intent. 
Membership in the Sigic Order will bring you both prestige and power. But such honors often lead to Wagnithir, the bad change. What you do in the Order's name, you do for others, never yourself. The map will show you the approximate location of each time breach. I apologize. Our visions, while powerful, are not always specific. Make your way to each X on the map, then use the Augur of the Obscure to discover the anomaly's exact location. These time breaches are not visible to mortal eyes. The Augur, however, perceives time and space very differently. Gazing through it will allow you to peer through the veil, to see things both visible and invisible. Things like these breaches. Precisely. Think of them like bandages, I suppose, or tourniquets. The chrononymics they contain will stabilize the rifts and harden the walls of time around them, rendering the breaches harmless. They are quite easy to use, I promise. Uh, now that I think of it, you know how we get the Sigic skills, which basically change your current skills and all this stuff? You have to do this on all the characters. Dude, that's tedious. Oh, my. Like, as much as I think that's cool, dang, I just don't even care. We're gonna do it, though, on at least four characters. Yes, can I, can I help you? Right, you're the Order's new initiate. I didn't expect you so soon. Things here on Arteum are normally, you know, snailish. I transcribed our seer's visions onto the map there and collected these Sigic seals. The Augur, however... I don't. Please don't tell the Lore Master. It tricked me into dismissing the binding charms that keep it here, in the Athenaeum. Then it popped like a bubble and vanished. It escaped before, but never on my watch. Mercifully, yes. I just scried its location. It looks like it reappeared somewhere on the shores of Waston Coraldale. It didn't take long for some sea elves to scoop it up and squirrel it away. You'll have to steal it back. I am sorry, truly. I'm indebted. You'll definitely need the Augur on your quest. Without it, you'll never find those time breaches. Find the Augur now. I think it's in one of the delves you do. So we'll find it. Uh, if I have to do this for every class I play or every character I own. Man, this game hates fun. Devs don't play their game. Just gonna port over here and then pick up some more way shrines. 